What's going on everyone? Today in the backwoods, I'm gonna be showing you how I cut perfect firewood every cut. Let's go. Okay, so first off, disclaimer, I wanna say I did not invent this technique, okay? So before you come in here and you say, oh, you're stealing from uh, Chris in the woodyard. Well, no, I'm paying homage, okay? Oh my. That's what I'm doing. So uh, this this technique was actually, uh, I believe, Chris from In the Woodyard invented this technique, but uh, I stole it from him uh, because it's a good technique and uh, it's time saving, it's cheap, uh, it hits on all cylinders. It's, it's the best way to measure your firewood by far. So uh, without further ado, I'll get into it. I just wanted to say that because I know I'd have people in here say, oh, you didn't do that. I know. <laughs> Okay, so this is how I measure my firewood. I learned this technique from in the woodyard and I have not stopped using it since I saw it. This this was great. Uh, Chris, man, you saved me so much time and money, you have no idea. Uh, so what it is, is basically a zip tie measured out to whatever distance you want. I cut it 16s. This one looks a little bit past. I don't think I installed this one. I feel like somebody else installed this one. But uh, yeah, so uh, that's what I use to measure my firewood and it cuts pretty accurately. Um, you always get within a quarter inch or so. I was wondering why I was cutting a little bit bigger. Somebody, somebody else measured that. But anyways, um, so I'm gonna show you how to put one on here. And what I actually do, this is my brother saw. Um, but this is what I do. I put two of them on and then I use Gorilla Tape to make it more secure. And I believe Chris tapes, what he does is he has three of them, doesn't tape these, tapes the ends pink and wraps this in tape so it can't move. Homage. I don't like it to be wrapped in tape. I like it to be able to pull to the side because we go into the bush a lot and it does get in the way when you're felling trees or whatever you know so this this way seems to be the strongest when you use just the single one they get uh they they move around pretty easily and a lot of times what happens is they turn this way and they hit the exhaust and they melt so um the reason why i put two together is so that uh they don't turn as easily left and right Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab another zip tie. We're gonna measure it properly at 16 inches. And then we're gonna tape them together. And then my brother will have a nice, uh, a nice, we, we call it a thing longer. <laughs> Whenever something's used to measure how long it is, it's a thing longer. That's what we call it. I don't know if Chris has a name for it. Let me know in the comments if he does. But uh, yeah, I'll go get that stuff. Okay, so first thing you wanna do is you put on your zip tie and obviously you would put on two but I already have one on oh no oh no I did the right way yeah, you always want to put it on that way that way you get the zip tie on this side of the bar and it's closer more accurate for measuring okay so want that as tight as possible. And then you need to measure. We cut them at 16. I usually cut it about a quarter below 16. Sometimes an eighth. Because I don't want anyone complaining saying their wood's too big, saying it won't fit in their stove. So I'd like to cut it just under 16. So. Use your trusty side cutters that you, that you wrecked cutting live wires. That always works. Just below 16. I don't know if you can see that there. I'm probably blocking it. 
just less than 16. So we'll cut the other one. And now you want to take a piece of Gorilla Tape, about as long as the, the zip ties. of the Gorilla Tape, two pieces like that, I just like to do the ends, I might have went too long here, no I didn't, plus I measured under anyways. Again, there you go, it's pretty much right on 16. Okay, let's go cut some wood. Let's measure a couple of these and see how they go. Just under 16. Let's see how this one goes. Just under 16. Just under 16. And about 16. So there you have it, an accurate way, quick way to measure your firewood. Now, I know what you're gonna say to me. You're gonna say, well, that's all well and good, but what if you wanna cut the other way? Well, let me show you. So we all know that uh, not every time you're gonna be able to cut from the one side, you wanna be able to cut from both sides. How do you measure it? I'll show you right now. Once you've made this cut, now you take note of where that ends up here, and you make That's how you cut from the opposite side. Let's take a look here. 16, 16, 16. <laughs> that one fell short, I don't know what happened there. 
16. That was a whole inch short. What happened there? I'll have to watch a video on that one. But yeah, so cuts accurately from both sides. And uh, yeah, cheap, easy to make, and uh, works pretty well. I mean, if you need perfect pieces, you need to buy a processor because you can't expect much more than that. Um, I see a lot of these guys, they have these, um, these perfect sticks. Well, using one of those things, by the time you've made your marks, I've already cut three rounds. And I don't have to pull it on, off, carry it around. It's going to get lost. Yeah, the perfect stick makes perfect cuts. But I mean, that's within a quarter inch. So I don't think anyone's going to complain about a quarter inch. And I, I just, I don't have time for... Uh, you know moving on and off and if it gets broken or lost or all that kind of stuff, right? All I got to do is buy a hundred pack of zip ties and I'll have uh, perfect firewood for the rest of my life um, So yeah, uh, I think you guys should try it. Give it a try. See if it saves you time Let me know and uh, make sure to share comment and subscribe if you're new here We do content like this all the time. We have lots more videos coming out uh, we have some saw reviews, we have processor reviews, we have excavators and skid steers and all sorts of toys that we're going to be showing you guys how we, uh, how we cut our wood and pretty soon we're going to start moving on to other stuff. We have animals, uh, we have cows, pigs, chickens, um, we have lots of projects going on, lots of projects, so stay, stay tuned and uh, we'll see you on the next one. Homage.